Hello friends of the internet, my name's Jason and we're here today at one of my favorite street spots on the island, this lovely three stair. Look how gorgeous it is. And today we're gonna skate it as we count down seven of my personal favorite weird, uncommon tricks that I like to do down or up or utilizing stairs in some way. So I'm sure that you've seen some of these tricks here before. Maybe there's some in here that you haven't. But either way, these are gonna be seven of my favorite tricks to do using stairs that you don't really see too often. So we're gonna go over to that three stair. We're gonna have a good old time. Hopefully you see some things that'll confuse and infuriate you as we can Count down seven of the rarest stair tricks that I like to do. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start off pretty simple. The first trick on this list, and one that I love to do, is gonna be a deck check kickflip. So a deck check is when you go up to the stairs like you're gonna ollie it or do whatever, but instead of popping before the stairs, you lift up and you smack the board down where you board slide, that's gonna hit the top step. And then after that, then you're gonna pop and you're gonna go down the stairs and do whatever you want. So I did a pretty terrible job explaining that. So instead, I'm just gonna go over there and show you and we can get started because my brain doesn't work so well. All right, so now that we're here, here's how a deck check works. Basically, you're gonna go up like you're gonna ollie it and instead of ollieing, you smack your board down. It's gonna hit the bottom and then you pop your trick a little bit late. So that's a deck check. We're gonna get warmed up here with a deck check down this before we try the kickflip out. All right, like I said, pretty simple, not too bad. So now we're gonna try and do that and do the kickflip out and then we'll be happy and then we'll do another trick. Right, that was pretty fun, not too bad, I love that trick. So we're gonna move on to the second trick of the seven and that's gonna be a fakey no comply down the stairs. I know a lot of people, especially now, do a lot of no complies downstairs. They'll do the straight no comply, no comply 180s, but the one that you don't see as often is the fakey no comply. So I love this trick, I love doing it, I love the way it feels, so we're gonna go and skate and get this fakey no comply and see what happens. Fakey no comply. Hey, that was really fun. I actually haven't fake you no complied anything in a while, so yay. All right, moving on to the third trick on this list. We're gonna do a trick that I love so very much. I know I say that about every single trick so far, and I'll probably say it about the others, but I, I just I just love these tricks, okay? So this one's gonna be a flip trick. It's gonna be a fakey big spin inward heel. You could also call it a fakey backside big heel. You can call it whatever you want, but I'm gonna do it, and you can't stop me, nice try. All right, this one might take a little bit. That one took a little bit longer than I think we all expected to get a decent one, but anybody who expected that to go smoother, I pretty much blame them for having any expectations of me in the first place. You should know better by now. Anyway, we're moving on to the fourth trick of this list, and this one's actually not that uncommon, but it's weird enough that I wanna do it anyway, 
it's gonna be a grip flip down the three. All right, so how this trick works is you're gonna run up to the stair set with the board in your hand upside down. It's gonna have the grip tape facing forward so that when you throw down, you're gonna toss the board into the ground, grip tape down, it's gonna bounce back up, do half a flip, and hopefully land on the wheels at the bottom of the stairs. This trick is super fun to learn on flat. Pretty much anyone of any skill level can learn this trick on flat just by figuring out how to toss the board into the ground right. But we're gonna try it down this three stair and that's it. Alright, that was fun. I like that trick a lot. It's not too difficult. You kind of just throw it down and then jump back on and that's about it. What's not to like? Anyway, let's move on to the fifth trick on this list. For trick number five, we're gonna do pretty much my favorite trick ever, or at least top three favorite tricks of all time to do. It's a 360 hard flip. I've been doing this trick for a long time and I just love it. I like the way it feels. It looks a little awkward, but we like awkward. This is just a trick that I love, and so I'm gonna try and do it down this three stair for you right now. All right, here we go. My favorite trick on this list. Let's do the 360 hard flip. So that took a little longer than I thought it was gonna take, but whatever, we got it. And now we're gonna move on to trick number six of this list. And this is a trick that I've actually never done before downstairs, but I just thought of it now. So I'm putting it on this list and then we could try it. Trick number six is gonna be a flamingo. Now I know normally I just hop into a flamingo and I hop around on one foot like a bobbling potato, but this time I'm gonna try and flamingo at the top of the stairs and jump off that one foot all the way down the three. Again, I've never done this before, so I don't know if it's even gonna work, but we're gonna try it and hopefully something will happen. All right, so just so you know, I don't care if I tail smack or firecracker or whatever, I'm just looking for any sort of roll away and I'll be happy. I want to be happy. So after a few tries, I've determined by trial and error that making weird involuntary noises does not actually help you land it. time for the strange socially awkward Asian boy in the black clothing. Wee! All right, now that we've done that, we got our trick, we got our wee, let's move on to the final and seventh trick of this list. For the last trick of this list, I wanted to skate the stairs a little differently, so instead of going down it, I'm gonna try and go up it with a firecracker. So for this trick, I'm basically just gonna ride up to the three stair, and when I get to the bottom, I'm gonna do like a pop scrape motion and just lean really far back. I'm gonna try and get the tail to smack each one of the three steps until I get to the top, 
at which point hopefully I'll be rolling away. So this trick is actually really rough when you mess up and hang up on the top step, which will happen. I've done it a bunch of times before when I was learning this trick, so hopefully it doesn't take too long. This trick feels really good to do. Let's try and firecracker. And there you go. It took a while for me to get a good firecracker up there where I was making solid contact with that second step. I'd usually hit the first one and kind of graze the second lightly and then hit the third. So I had to keep going until I got a good impact and a good contact on that second step. And yeah, I'm down for that last one. That was actually a lot of fun to do. So thank you for joining me here today as I showed you seven of my personal rarest and favorite stair tricks to do. I hope you enjoyed it because I had a lot of fun skating this thing and doing a lot of these tricks that I haven't done in a really long time. So yeah, I had a great time filming this video. You can subscribe to me if you're not already. I put out new videos here every single week. You can hit the notification bell if you want to know when I upload a new video and then you can go and watch it. You can leave me a comment if you want to and I'll read every single comment so I'll hear whatever you have to say. Either way, thank you for joining me here today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. My name is Jason and I'll see you guys next time. Whee! Helicopter.